first we'll go to M81 and M82. Bode's Galaxy and the Cigar Galaxy. And these are ones that you can find uh, through a telescope. And they're just interesting because they're very close to each other optically. They're actually very far away from each other, but as far as the angles that we're looking at them, very close together. And you can't really see it here. That's one of those ones that, uh, because we've got such a clear Hubble image on here, is a little harder to see. Uh, but the Cigar Galaxy got its name from being sort of tube-shaped, right? Which is actually, believe it or not, easier to see in a telescope than it is in the Hubble image. Um, and then Bose Galaxy is just, I'm going to be honest, just sort of your run-of-the-mill spiral galaxy. So those are, those are two that are kind of interesting to look at, but we'll get to some of my more favorites here. The Andromeda Galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy is the only object outside the Milky Way that is visible with the naked eye. And you can actually do this. If you can, if you can find the Andromeda constellation outside in the sky, um, like that one here, there's sort of this, uh, often these, these two stars here are also part of it. It just sort of makes this big triangle shape that is visible during some times of the year. Um, I don't know, it's hard, to, it's hard to show, I guess, how to find it on here. But anyways, uh, at the foot of the Andromeda constellation, it just sort of looks like a fuzzy patch in the sky, but you can see it without the aid of a telescope. You can see it much better with a telescope, of course. Uh, and it is the closest galaxy to the Milky Way the closest galaxy to us outside the Milky Way. Unlike every other galaxy that we've observed in the universe, it's moving towards us. The rest of them are moving away from us very fast and faster all the time. Like we give off an odor or something. But Andromeda doesn't care. Andromeda is coming towards us because we're buddies. It's the only galaxy that likes us. It's the only galaxy that likes us likes us so much that in about four and a half billion years, we're gonna collide. Just like and we're gonna end up looking a little bit like, we're gonna end up looking a little bit like this. But here's the Whirlpool Galaxy, which is actually two galaxies in a merger process. Um, it sort of looks like one is eating the other. And actually, because galaxies are mostly empty space, there's actually a very low chance that any two stars in a galactic merger will crash into each other. So we're, we're safe on that front. I mean, we're safe anyway, because I'm not going to be around in four and a half billion years, so... Not At least I hope problem. not. <laughs> not, yeah, not my problem. <laughs> Just um, looks like that like was the... giving them like a nice little hug. Yeah, like yeah, it's just like, come here, come here, all. You're in my mouth. Yeah, so that's that. Just like the heat death of the universe, not my problem. Just like four and a half billion years from now, the Andromeda colliding with the Milky Way, not my problem. Just like three and a half billion years from now, the sun expanding to swallow the earth, not my problem. Hopefully, the human race is around long enough for it to be somebody's problem. Maybe you would have solved something by then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll have solved a lot of things by then. Anyways, that's all for this episode. I'll catch you all next time.